And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I'm your host, Pep Fernandez. Uh, we're talking more football in this segment. Before you know it, the 2023 high school football season will be here. And for a lot of our local teams, uh, a great way to get ready for the upcoming season, in the month of June at least, is 7-on-7 seven seven passing league games. So let's take you out to San Gorgonio taking on Ukaipa in 7-on-7 seven seven league action. And again, they don't keep scores in this one, but they do compete and they go hard. Here's our first look at San G quarterback Peyton Clark. The transfer in for head coach Chris Chaddock is expected to have a star season for the Spartans. And again, this is a great way to get a tune-up for the quarterbacks and the skill positions to get all on the same page and uh, for Sanji and Yukaipa, they both did a lot of things well in the passing game and uh, that might bode well for the upcoming season signs of things to come for both the Spartans and the Thunderbirds and for head coach Chris Chaddick and Justin Price at Yukaipa, who we are going to hear from in just a moment uh, this is a great way to learn some things, correct some things as well in a controlled environment like 7-on-7 seven seven. so first let's hear from Chris Chaddick, the new head football coach at San Gorgonio, coming over from Indian Springs. And Chaddick likes what he sees so far at San G. And we are here at Ukaipa High School with San Gorgonio head coach Chris Chaddick after they just threw against the Thunderbirds. And coach, I know it's not real football. There's no helmets. There's no pads. But what impressed you about your Spartans in this passing league? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, thank you for interviewing us, and thank you to Coach Price for uh, coming and having us. It was uh, great, and we'll see him in a couple weeks at San G, so props to them. A couple things impressed me. Number one, the way the guys competed. You, you could just see the, the passion. They, they got that passion and purpose in them. Mm -hmm. They're flying around. They believe. Uh, you know, we've got some great leadership from the top down. You saw the coaching staff. I think the coaching staff is tremendous. They coach their... They coach their butts off, man. Coach from Coach Lawler, who's a great OG college coach. Coach <laughs> Coach Clark, who's uh, you know was a head coach at Ike at one time. Coach Andy Martinez, Riverside legend. Coach Gary Hedlin, offensive OG. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know the the product is different. It's mm -hmm. a different product. I think you can observe that and really really tell that this is uh, a new era, a new time. So what, what's the biggest takeaways for you, at least doing seven on seven? Is just is it just competing, seeing somebody else, making sure your guys are listening and following, you know, the, the instructions that you're giving them? I mean, what, what's the biggest takeaway from seven on seven? Well, well I found out today that this was actually uh, Sanji's first uh, seven on seven in two years. They hadn't played any, uh -huh. so for the fact that they competed as well as they did off of three weeks of practice, because uh, we've only been together three weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with them. Um, so just to see that the techniques are clicking, they're understanding concepts, because mm -hmm. conceptualization is basically the biggest reason why we do seven on seven. They're seeing what's happening in the zone. They're able to watch yeah. the plays develop on offense. They're able to talk to each other and learn to communicate. So seeing them communicate, huge in seven on seven. Seeing the defensive concepts, the zones, the rolling, the blitz coverage, everything else. Yeah. Seeing the offense, being able to see the quarterback make his progressions the receivers being able to convert routes all these different things are huge when it when, when it comes to seven on seven and finally coach uh your qb obviously the offense getting good work your quarterback as well uh peyton what do you think of him today oh peyton is just outstanding he's been a he's been a blessing he's a uh you know he's a plus quarterback you you remember the name you're gonna you're gonna see him he's gonna be getting a lot of college offers 3.8 students 16 and 4 as a starter uh couldn't ask for a better kid All right, that was San Gorgonio head coach Chris Chaddick talking about his squad this season. Uh, San G will have a new starting quarterback this year, Peyton Clark, and it was our first look at him, at least here on Sports Weekly, and he looked really sharp out there working with his receivers. Here's Peyton Clark. Uh, you know what? We, uh, we really spread it out today. We showed uh, a lot of different looks and a lot of different things that we, uh, we usually like to run. You know, we threw, the, we threw the quick passes, we threw the deep passes, uh, we got through all of our progressions, and most importantly, uh, we succeeded and we had fun. It's extremely important to be able to build that timing and connection because once the season really starts and like the summer really starts to run around, the time you have to really hammer down on your timing and your route running as receivers and a quarterback, they start to dwindle down a little bit as you prepare for other teams and what they run and to be able to counteract what the defense does. Uh, never liked losing, never did. Uh, one of the stories I always like to tell is uh, 
I used to stack the deck when I played Uno when I was a kid. <laughs> so like, I never I never like to lose, but um, even the good reps and the bad reps, we take them as uh, learning opportunities and we just work every day to continuously get better. All right, that was Peyton Clark. And finally, we also checked in with UKIPA head coach Justin Price. He said he liked what he saw from his thun Thunderbirds. He also liked what he saw from his competition, San Gorgonio. You know, I, I feel like we competed really hard today. Um, the great thing is we were had an opportunity to get a lot of guys reps and, and get a good competition. Coach Haddock's done a great job. Probably the most impressive thing for me today was, you know, they had just started their spring football only a few weeks ago, and, and he's coming back to the San Gio program, had done a great job there before as an assistant. And, I, I mean, they, they look great today considering they only had a few weeks in. So it was really good competition for us. Uh, I love the opportunity to get our, our guys a chance to compete against somebody else other than our than UKIPA. Uh, really looking forward to the season this year. But but again, we're just kind of working through that spring ball stuff. Can't wait till we get in pads. Uh, but I was pretty happy about today. I thought we competed hard. Um, you know, we got to do some things and set ourselves in situations today. I think that'll benefit us later. Yeah, I mean, obviously the weight room this time of the year is huge, but I think seven on seven for us is more about building chemistry between our guys, specifically the quarterbacks and uh, um, the receivers, you know, we got uh, some new quarterbacks in there getting some work in. Uh, but also defensively, I think the communication is key. And that's one area that we need to continue to improve on is communicating. The great thing is when you see teams that we haven't seen before, uh, just having that opportunity to get against different competition, different formations, different motions. Um, you know, really for us, 7-on-7, seven seven, when we get an opportunity against one other team, it's just a practice situation. So we got to practice it against somebody else. Uh, great competition. Their kids are super respectful. That's what we look for. That's why I invited Coach and we're going to go uh, check out Sanji here in a couple weeks. Uh, when, when you get in these situations, we just want to go out and have, uh, you know, be with a classy program. And I, like I said, I can't say enough about the coaching staff he's put together and how they look today. Uh, did a great job. All right, that was head coach Justin Price. When we come back here on Sports Weekly, we're going to have one of our league champion segment and celebrate the San Bernardino High School baseball team, Mountain Valley League champions this season. We'll be right back on Sports Weekly on IEMG.